my brother's charred footprints continue this way. Rescuing four brothers is no small task itself, but if they don't wish to be found. Even if I cannot bring them home, I must know what happened to them. I will leave their stories unfinished. What about your story, Elizabeth? Would you, what would you be doing if you didn't have brothers to save? Preparing to help defend Vadam against Queen Freya and myself, I suppose. Though in my heart I long for more of a world than the farm I grew up on. Elizabeth's medallion begins to glow. Raven! Look, it's glowing again. It would best be careful. I feel my medallion tries to warn me of danger. Though it didn't warn me about the vines. It's about Raven, not the danger! Hmm. The footprints are here. And they're wolf prints? I fear my brother is in great danger. Perhaps. Yet see this flat stones? A man will leave no prints if he continue over them. I'll trust you, Marcus. Let's continue over the stones. If George went that way, we may be able to catch up with him. If the wolves found him, he's likely to be on help anyway. Elizabeth and Marcus follow the path over the stones. The line Elizabeth's medallion goes out. Now light has gone out again. We need to turn back. The medallion first began to glow when I found George's cloak. Perhaps it wasn't warning perhaps it wasn't warn me of danger after all, but telling me my brother is near. I let Marcus go back and follow the wolf tracks. Elizabeth's medallion glow once more. My medallion glows brave again, I think it relays letting me to charge. I am told my mother gave me this medallion long ago. I was but a babe when she left us, but I don't remember her at all. My father told me Lena was her name. He said it was a tradition in Lena's part of the wildlands to pass medallions such as this from mothers to the others. Perhaps the medallion was meant to help keep our family together, though if she wanted to do that, she would never have gone away. Magic is a tiny thing. I would not be so quick to quest at its mansions. Now would I look to it to set your path. Hold fast to your sword, Elizabeth. It will not betray you. You don't hesitate to fight with magic. Killing with magic is nothing to be proud of, I assure you. Look, over there, under a walks this path. I, a dwarf, no doubt on his own near hand. Perhaps he's seen George pass this way. I must talk to him. Good day, sir. I seek a young man who entered this forest. Have you seen him? The door laughs. Why? Isn't the young man you're with good enough for you? Oh my! Oh my, that's a good one! Really, I'm not looking for romance. I'm looking for my brother. No, where's the fun in that? We're not looking for fun, I assure you. You have less of a sense of humor than she does. Don't you know that a story is never about just one thing? Anyway, I have a little to offer either of you, save for these poor items to bring smiles to your mirthless faces. Mirfus. I've seen no one pass this way save for. But no. I've sworn to keep his location hidden. Get the one you saw? Could he be one of my brothers? I suppose it's possible. But he's a poor candidate to replace your young man anyway. His car is already taken. Elizabeth sighs. Truly. I don't seek to give my heart to anyone. I only seek my brothers. There you go again, turning my banter to a deadly seriousness. If you must be serious, tell me this. 
What is so important about your mission that I should deny my friend his privacy? The Snow Queen's army approaches Spartalum. I must find my brothers before her forces prevent me from doing so. No, that's no laughing matter. My friend has no love with the icy queen. Very well, I'll take you to him. But, if my friend asks, tell him you forced me at sword point, alright? Might he try to kill us if we say that? Better you than me. Come on then, quickly before I change my mind. <laughs>